Well, it's going to be a doozy tomorrow night. Going to be an interesting situation to see how this one plays out yeah. when all is said and done. Yeah, I don't want to uh, get too much into taking away some, from the thunder from tomorrow afternoon at 3.30 when you guys start discussing tomorrow's game. But I, I, I eventually I think we need to find out from Dave because you guys played the, the Winterhawks in the uh, Western Conference Final and uh, and gave them a pretty good go, I thought, still, regardless of what the uh, final uh, results said in terms of games played. But um, you know, what is it that they do so much differently now than, say, what they did the last two years? And how key is it to keep Mac Carruth bottled up with his emotions? Because I've seen him play several times, and if you can get under his skin, get into his kitchen a little bit, he suddenly forgets to play goal. He thinks he's a defenseman out there. You're absolutely right with that. Well, first and foremost, their their commitment to play the game below their side of center ice is far better than what I've ever seen mm-hmm. it be. And that's that's the, really the key to their success is as, as high-octane offense as they are and, and, and the guys that they've got that can put the puck in the net, they are so committed to tracking the puck from behind, from catching guys from behind right now, that it makes the defense's job way easier. And you'll notice tomorrow night, Portland's defenseman, the, the top four, you know, we always talk about gap and wanting to have a good gap. Their gap is a soft gap, and the reason they play a soft gap is because everybody tracks so hard from behind. So now what that forces is, is for them to, to be able to catch pucks from behind, create that turnover. All of a sudden, you got all five guys going right up the ice, and you're wondering what the heck happened to the puck. The second thing, and you alluded to, to Matt Carruth, where, where I think he's taken a, te- a real big step this year, and our game plan was to get to the paint, bump him, get in his kitchen. He gets involved with it, and then he corrects himself, and he gets out of it. And it almost now it almost seems like it lights a fire under him in a good way, as opposed to him taking penalties. He seems to get more engaged now, and I tell you what, I, I don't know if there's going to be a goal tire in this term that handles the puck the way he does, and that's a big part of their transition game and a big part of the way they can defend the yeah, way they defend. no doubt about that. Obviously, we talked about it a little bit earlier. When Portland is playing at home, they are a tough, tough hockey team. Being in a neutral facility, does that change anything at all? They set a Western Hockey League record this year for road wins. So <laughs> they're at home on the road. They're they're just one hell of a good hockey team, and, and they play they play the same. Doesn't matter what the venue is, they play the same way all the time. And, and this they're not going to be. If anything, they're going to relish if, if the environment was like it was tonight. It's just like playing at home for them. I mean, they're 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 raucous fans are, are tremendous, but I think. For, for my money, when, when Portland gets on the ice, they're going to be all business tomorrow, and, and I really do believe it'll be interesting to see how the big line for Portland matches up against the big guys from Halifax, and if they do end up going to head-to-head, well, that's going to be a lot of fun hockey to watch. Say you're all of a sudden hired, Dave Hunchak, by the Halifax Mooseheads to be their consultant for the next 12 hours. What would you tell them to do? <laughs> Score more goals than Portland. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Dad. Uh, my, late, my late father used to say that to me all the time. I'd ask him, so, Dad, who's going to win tonight? Uh, usually it would be Boston or Montreal. We'd be watching Hockey Night in Canada. He'd say to me, son, it's going to be the team that scores the most goals. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> well, I, I think I think they've probably seen enough video. They, they're, hey, let's, let's, let's point at one fact. Though. They're the number one ranked team in Canada, not Portland. Mm-hmm. So yeah. they're going to come in with... You know, with that, uh, with that mentality, like, we're the number one team ranked in Canada. Let's make them beat us. And Portland's going to go around the other way saying, oh, hey, we've got the number one team now. We think we're the number one team. We need to prove tonight why we're the number one team. So in Halifax's case, you know, I, I think the first period is going to be a bit of a feeling out process. Once they figure out what each other is doing, I think the game opens wide open. 